All right, welcome back. Uh, we just saw chords. You saw uh, what uh, the essentials are, what exactly you need to get started. Now, we last section, we saw chords, right? So we were working with the C, the G, and the A minor, and the F chords, or that chord progression. Now, I can obviously just scratch the pick, huh? or, or, or strum is the, is the correct word. I can strum the pick down from top to bottom. I can move it bottom up. And that's what eventually... So you notice how... Okay? So again, there are more... There are simpler strumming patterns, like the simple... This is simply a top-to-bottom pattern. And guess what? It's often good enough. Remember those songs I sang as examples for the chord progression in the C, G, A minor? Well, I can use those. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. So if you're getting started, don't worry too much, okay, about getting nice and fancy and being able to pick all over the place. Keep in mind that most... Most songs are played by a guitarist doing his thing on the guitar and, and a singer, a lead singer, doing his or her thing on vocals. Uh, rarely do they play the same at the same time, especially when you hear it very, very sharp and complex. So the idea here is to, the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid, right? So uh, this, that's an example of a strum pattern. So you're going to have a, a section in each song lesson that's going to give you some, some examples of simple patterns for strumming and more advanced uh, patterns and you're going to be able to work your way up as you as you get used to switching chords and and uh, and strumming with the pick all right now we said strumming and picking now some songs again this is a little more complicated so we're not going to see a lot of these in the songs but for example when you hear stairway to heaven called picking, okay? So where I'm actually using several, uh, two or three or four fingers, and I'm actually pulling on the strings uh, in, in a rhythmic pattern. That's what we call picking. So that's all you need to know in terms of picking at this stage. And keep in mind that in the lessons for strumming, you're going to have everything you need for the basics. Remember that when you actually add your vocals to the mix, the, the, the picking becomes, or the, uh, the strumming becomes... It's still important, but if you're just getting started, just having rhythm and working your way like this is just, just fine. So again, keeping it simple, there's strumming and picking. Okay, let's have a look at the next step, which is um, actually the song structure, because you'll see that most songs have a certain structure, and that's what we're going to work for, with. So let's have a look at that. Okay, welcome back. Song structure. Most popular songs have pretty similar song structures. They begin with an intro that's usually the same chord progression as the, uh, as the chorus. It can vary, but it's usually uh, the same chord progression as you saw the C, G, A minor, and F progression. Uh, and then you'll have the verses. Those are the, the, those are the sections that have, where the lyrics will change, uh, but they, you'll usually have two or three or sometimes even four of those. And then you have that little section that's kind of different uh, towards the two-thirds of the song. That's usually what we call a bridge. And then from there, uh, you can have a solo, but the solo is actually, the backbone of the solo will be usually the, uh, the verse chord. And then you can have an outro. But again, essentially, you've got three, four parts to a song. And in the song lessons, the library of popular song lessons, I break that down, and so we're going to learn specifically how to play the intro, how to play the verses, how to play the chorus, and so you'll really have a step-by-step -step to work your way through the whole song, okay? So that's, uh, that's it for song structure. All right, welcome back. Uh, let's look at vocals. Uh, again, this program is really designed to put things together, to put guitar, simple guitar, if you're advanced, then good, that's fine. 
I mean, we're, we're never going to put limits on where you want to go. But essentially, some of the turnoffs uh, in, initially is that, you know, you don't read music. Well, you don't need to learn to read music. You need to follow the chord patterns that you'll learn. And that's a very mechanical step that you'll see is, is quite simple. In terms of vocals, you're probably having doubts unless you're, you, already, you already sing. Uh, but I promise you that your, your voice is a muscle. I've been singing for over 20 years. And I can promise you that my voice now is a lot richer, has a lot better texture than it did 20 years ago. But that's because I sing a lot. Okay? Now, your goal is probably not to sing in a stadium. Okay? And if it is, good for you. We can, we can get there together. Uh, but if, if it's just to play for yourself, to play for friends and family, to be able to strum along so everyone sings along... You've got plenty of voice. Everyone has plenty of voice for that. So the idea here is to find your voice. Remember we talked about the capo. Well, the capo will allow us to find your range. Range is, you're going to sing a high pitch. Oh, you're going to sing down low. And the, the range that you can go low and high, that's, well, that's what you call the range, okay? Or the pitch. Uh, and so you're going to play in different keys. And so that's why even if we keep playing the C, the G, the A minor, and the F chord, if we use the capo and we move it up and down, we're going to change the pitch or the key. And that will allow you to find the proper voice or to find your range in there. Okay? So the idea is to get started. Look at, the, look at some of the artists out there. Bob Dylan, for example, is one that comes to mind. He's got a... He's got a, a, a a kind of a unique voice, but he's not known for the quality of his voice. He's known because he's an okay guitarist, he's an excellent poet, and he puts on a good show. And that's really the key, and that's really what we want to work on together, okay? So in vocals, there's a vocal section in each song lesson, and that um, there we'll focus on tips and tricks. We'll talk about the original, because I always try to teach the lesson based on the original, but I'll give you tips and tricks so that depending on where your range is, sometimes your range is too high. You're, so you have to actually bring the capo up, or you have to make adjustments so that the, the chords will match a higher pitch that you'll have, or vice versa. Okay? So again, just the fundamentals here, so you, first of all, you believe that you have a voice, and we're going to find it together if you don't think you do. <laughs> And, uh, and then we get started, because I think ultimately, again, these basics, I think, are essential, and that's why I wanted to keep it nice and simple and cover the building blocks of the program so that you, you at least have a good idea what you're getting into, but I don't want to, uh, to blah blah you, I really want to focus on, on the essentials here. So, believe you have a voice, we're going to find it together if you don't think so, and uh, you're, you're, you're going to start learning to sing and play in a few minutes uh, with the list of songs that, uh, that are here uh, in the program. All right? So I'm looking forward to, uh, to working with you. Let me know how you do.